Hey everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude, and I am here to review the episode Survival of the Idiots, requested by J53518 and Seth Hyven. Check out J53518's channel, you guys. I'm going to leave a link to his channel below. He is awesome. Please just check out his movie reviews, his gameplays. He's even done some Spongebob episode reviews himself. So please check out his channel, link down below. Survival of the Idiots is about when Spongebob and Patrick, they go to Sandy's Tree Dome to go visit her. But then it turns out that... Her tree dome is all snowy, and Sandy is in hibernation. But then SpongeBob and Patrick they decide to stay in her tree dome despite it being all snowy and her in hibernation. So you know they just play around. So this episode is good. It's a good, solid episode. I enjoy it. I thought the plot was nicely written. I thought it was nicely executed as well. Pretty good pacing, and overall, I could say. It's a satisfying episode. I do like Survival of the Idiots. SpongeBob and Patrick playing inside the home. I think it's really cool and I think it's enjoyable. It's a funny episode too. There's a lot of good humor here. And Sandy being this big, ugly, horrifying monster. I just think it's really funny. And the way SpongeBob and Patrick are just like running after. I just like run away from her. Just many funny moments in this episode. Good plot, good writing, refreshing episode all around. My only problems with this episode is that, um, well, Spongebob and Patrick, they can get a bit annoying. The fact that Sandy specifically said for them not to bother her, it kind of bugged me that they actually go into the tree dome and just do it anyways. Well, actually it was Patrick. Spongebob said he uh, he was going to listen, but it was actually Patrick that convinced Spongebob to go do it. And I, it just really kind of bugged me that they didn't listen to Sandy. Also, the way they kept bugging Sandy with, uh, the way they kept bugging Sandy when she's sleeping, that kind of got my nerves as well. Also, Patrick getting belly button, then I was belly button. I just thought that was, that was unnecessary. That was gross, but, oh well, that one also bugged me. And overall, while the ending, yeah, it was kind of funny, but overall, it was predictable. It wasn't what I hoped would end, and... I just didn't like the endings, but it's a fun episode. I enjoy it. It's solid. I would give Survival of the Idiots a solid rating of a 7 out of 10. We are now on to Dumped, requested by Seth Hyven. Alright, Dumped is about when Gary dumps Spongebob for Patrick because Gary keeps going to Patrick. He's been spending time with him a lot. Uh, Gary hasn't been going home to Spongebob. Gary just ends up staying with Patrick. Spongebob misses Gary. I think you guys could pretty much guess where this is going. Dumped, in my opinion, is a great episode. A little better than Survival of the Idiots, in my opinion. I really enjoyed Dumped. It's a well-written episode. It's pretty good in terms of the idea. The idea is pretty good. And overall, I have to uh, compliment how great the writing is. The writing is actually pretty good. But the biggest flaw I have with Dumped is... Really, the whole plot, because the plot is not bad, but Patrick 
I just didn't like Patrick here. I just thought he was unlikable. Sure, he was funny. At the start, he was funny. But then once Gary started going to him and then Patrick giving Spongebob this talk about how Gary rather has him than Spongebob, I just thought Patrick was a jerk. He was just unlikable for the majority of the episode. Uh, Gary going to uh, Patrick actually did piss me off. I did get bored a couple of times watching this episode. And the reason for Gary going to Patrick, which is revealed at the end of the episode, I just found it pathetic. Patrick's final line in the episode was hilarious, don't get me wrong, but how the reasoning behind it, what the hell? I just found that lame, and it was really my major problem with this episode. So despite the problems this episode does have, it's really enjoyable, but I just thought they would go so much better with the ending, and uh, not only did Patrick piss me off, but Gary just pissed me off because of that one little stupid reason of going to Patrick. I just, I did not buy into that, and oh man, it kind of drew me nuts a little, I'm just going to say that. But it is an enjoyable episode, really enjoyed it. It's well written, it's funny at parts, but it's predictable, you know where it's going. It's really the writing and some of the humor, how it was put together is what really made me enjoy this episode. Overall dumped, even though there are issues that really do make me say what the hell, moments that I found lame, pissed me off. It's enjoyable though, and I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 because despite of the major problems it has, it is really good in terms of the writing, the humor, and everything else. You would never dump me, huh boy, huh, you would never dump me, you're just a sweetie pie. He was just laying down watching me as I was filming this review. Subscribe to my channel, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, comment to give me your thoughts on the Spongebob episode, like and share this video. I will always have TAGA POWER!